Hey guys, today I'm here with the third and probably final installment of the top 5 spring series I'll be doing here on my YouTube channel. And today I'll be talking about my favorite 5 lipsticks for this spring. I do have some other lip products that I've been loving this spring, like lip glosses and lip tints and stuff like that. But in this video I decided to concentrate just on lipsticks, so uh, yeah. Uh, this is what you'll be watching today, but before I start showing you my favorite shades, I would just like to invite you to go check out Laura's channel. I'll link her channel down below, and because we're doing a collab, she will be showing her top 5 favorite spring lipsticks, so please go check out the video. Um, she's a really lovely girl, I've really been enjoying watching her videos. She's currently one of my favorite people here on YouTube, and I think she definitely deserves more subscribers than she has, so go check out her channel. Okay, so let's now move on to my top 5 spring lipsticks. The first one, I'm going to start with more peachy shades. Um, the first one that I have here is this Revlon Lip Butter in the shade Juicy Papaya. Um, I have been convinced until a few months ago that peachy shades don't suit me at all. But I swatched this one on my hand last fall, I think, and I really like how it looked like, so I decided to try it out, and thankfully, I think that it suits me. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this one for spring, because it's just so sheer and so... I don't know, fresh and it is definitely buildable so you know you can have it as a very sheer color or well not really bold but you know definitely less sheer. <laughs> um, anyway I really love this shade and I also love how this product feels on my lips. It is very hydrating and moisturizing and you know buttery. Um, that's why they're called lip butters. Um, so yeah, that's the first shade that I have here. And the second lipstick that I have, I think it also falls into the peach category, but it is definitely more coral, I would say. Um, it is the L'Oreal lipstick from their um, Caress line, and this one is called Dating Coral. Um, yeah, it is definitely more coral, but I don't know, it's still like a peachy color to me. It's not like that bright coral shade and it is also quite sheer and also buildable. So um, yeah, I love it. And the consistency and the feel on the lips is actually very similar to uh, Revlon Lip Butters. These lipsticks are probably, if I have to like decide for one line of lipsticks, I would have to say try the L'Oreal Caress ones because they're great. They're really moisturizing, the shades are great and they're just perfect for everyday and for on-the-go touch-ups because you really don't need a mirror when you're applying these. Then I have two more pinky shades. The first one is again from the L'Oreal Caress line. This one is called Tempting Lilac and I'm pretty sure that this is my most used lipstick because this is my second tube um, and this is just also a very wearable everyday shade. It is definitely pink toned but it's more, um, I don't know, mauve -y, I guess? It's definitely not that bright in your face pink, very, I don't know, it's very toned down, very muted. Definitely go check it out because I feel like this is the kind of shade everyone would like. Then the next one I have is from Makeup Academy and this is the shade called number four. Um, but this lipstick is definitely a lot more pink. However, it is very, very sheer. You definitely can't really build this one up. It is a very sheer lipstick, but this is what I like about it. It just looks very fresh and very... Um, not really your lips, but better, but your lips, but pinkier. <laughs> I don't know. I love it. And also, I do have to say that if you haven't tried out the uh, Makeup Academy lipsticks yet, what are you waiting for? This cost one pound. One pound. It is like, this is nothing. And they are amazing. They are definitely one of the best drugstore lipsticks I've tried. They are very moisturizing, very creamy and... They just, they're just great and they have a lot of great shades. I personally have this one um, and I also have, I think, shade number two and three. But the other two shades that I have are not sheer. They are very, like, bold colors. I have a bright 
pink one and I don't know a little bit darker ish shade um, and they are very pigmented and very bold but again they are very creamy and just they feel so nice on your lips definitely go check out makeup academy lipsticks because they're amazing and now the last lipstick that I'll be showing you is definitely more bold. Um, you know, the ones that I've showed you up until now are very neutral and light and, I don't know, wearable and perfect for every day. But this one is definitely more out there. Um, I'm talking about Max Lady Danger. Um, yeah, it looks like this. And it is very bold and bright. It's a red shade with an orange undertone and I think it looks amazing um, I used it in one of my recent tutorials if you want to check it out it has a matte finish that I've been loving recently but even though it has a matte finish it is not drying on my lips it is surprisingly very creamy when I apply it which I did not expect but I'm loving it um, so yeah this is definitely the black sheep out of the bunch I guess um, because it is very different um, all the others again that I've showed you are quite mm, glossy and creamy but this one is matte and like boom out there it's definitely my favorite find maybe even of the year even though it's only March but I I'm just in love with it um, so yeah that was the last lipstick I wanted to show you. I hope you like this video and my other top 5 spring favorites. <laughs> I don't know how to call them. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun filming these. I'm pretty sure that this will be my last top 5 video because I don't have any other ideas for like other topics. But if you want me to film something, definitely let me know in the comments below. So thank you for watching and before you go, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and definitely don't forget to check out Laura's video that I'm going to link in the description box below because I'm sure it is amazing. So yeah, thanks for watching again and I'll see you later. Bye! Smooth, but the color, oh my god, this is such a beautiful color. For those who love wearing lipsticks but want something a little bit more like toned down, I really recommend this one. It is a nice rosy kind of mauve color. It gives you a nice amount of color without being like over the top and wearing something like red or orange. <laughs>